Good morning, class. Welcome to our lecture series on computational biochemistry. Today, we'll be looking at molecular docking. So, what is molecular docking? We look at molecular docking as an interaction between a ligand and a protein, or a substrate and an enzyme. This tool can actually be used in drug discovery or discovery of lead compounds for drug research. So, let's look at how we can, you know, dock a ligand and the protein or a substrate and enzyme to get the binding energy. The binding energy can actually predict how tightly the substrate or the ligand can bound to the protein or an enzyme. So let's assume we want to look at drug discovery, antimicrobial drug discovery. For example, in our research here we actually look at you know interaction or for example, you know, look at the medicinal plants. Some uh, colleagues in microbiology can actually look at a research work where they actually found that the, a particular plant extract can actually inhibit the growth of a microorganism using either the agar well diffusion or the mm -hmm. Dix diffusion, agar well method or the Dix diffusion method. So now if they found out that the the plant actually have antimicrobial activity as seen as the zone of inhibition around the 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 site of the drug around the portion of the drug or around the dicks containing the drug what do we do from there we look at okay for example we look at chemical characterization you know look at looking at the different phyto compounds that are found in the plant either an alkaloid a saponin a phenolics, a flavonoid. So when you look at the different compounds using either GCMS or HPLC, you get array of compounds. So our problem was our problem will not be which particular compound is responsible for the antimicrobial properties seen in the agar well or the deep diffusion. So after we've done, after we've actually you know characterized the, after we've known the or the phyto compounds that are present. The next line is to do a pharmacokinetic screening. For example, if the use of the plant is oral route, for example, you go to any medicine and any maybe trado medicine store and they give you a decoction for you to prepare, or the plants and prepare the decoction for you to drink. So and at the end of the day, you find out that the, the plant is actually working for you, it's actually treating the problem. Or curing the problem, so we now have to be interested. Okay, for the fact that this compound is active or is working, it means that the phyto compound that is responsible must be bioavailable, which will look at the pharmacokinetic properties. Look at the pharmacokinetic properties. So in that case, we will now look at. Okay, let's navigate the internet. Let's navigate the internet. Here we have. Okay, let me just use the. Let me just use the Swiss Admin. Swiss Admin, where we can actually predict the pharmacokinetic properties of the drug to know if the drug will be bioavailable. So, this is drug discovery. So, this is Swiss Admin. We can also look at, okay, let's look at PopChem. Let's look at PopChem, where we can actually get our. Okay. So from our pop cam, we can see. Okay, let's assume that the phyto compound seen in our this in our plant is quercetin, or let's use gallic acid. Gallic acid. So this is gallic acid. So this is gallic acid. We can click here. I said this is gallic acid, which is actually a phenolix. Oh, okay. We scroll down. We scroll down. We'll see where they write the the, the canonical smiles. This is canonical smiles. We copy the canonical smile. Copy it. Copy the canonical smile. Copy. We go to our Swiss admin. 
where is our series admin this is our series admin you come here you put paste it uh, okay this is garlic acid garlic acid let's also look at a common drug which is already not very available uh, okay let's see gentamicin we have actually known that gentamicin doesn't have oral preparation gentamicin gentamicin comes at, is actually uh, the gentamicin actually comes in parenteral preparation either through intramuscular or through intravenously so gentamicin doesn't have an oral route so let's see why gentamicin doesn't have an oral route let's look let's go to the canonical smile okay this is the canonical smile of gentamicin copy it copy uh actually copy so let's look at let's paste it here paste it give the space gentamicin gentar so after that, I can actually look at the, I can run the data. Yeah, we have garlic acid and gentamicin. So let's look at the pharmacokinetic properties of these two compounds. So the first one, we have the garlic acid. You can see the structure of garlic acid, which is a phenolics, the polyphenolics. So let's look at the pharmacokinetics. This is GI absorption, which is gastrointestinal absorption. It's very high blood brain barrier permeation you can see the drug can, the, this particular compound cannot go to the brain so it has no permeation when it comes to the blood brain barrier does it bind to p glycoproteins no is it a c c182 inhibitor no so here you can see it is c3a4 inhibitor so if you actually taken this compound with a compound that is acted upon by this this thing it can actually cause adverse side effects of that particular drug so let's look at the gentamicin this is the structure of gentamicin you can see GI absorption gastrointestinal absorption which is very low so that is why it doesn't have an oral preparation so in our let me end this class now please do not forget to subscribe we are still on molecular docking lecture series in our next video we'll be looking at okay in this case we have actually seen that gentamicin doesn't have another route so if gentamicin is also seen in the in the phyto compounds present in that particular plant extract we can actually rule out by gentamicin that doesn't mean that gentamicin doesn't have antimicrobial property it just tells us that gentamicin taken orally does not have antimicrobial property so we also actually look at since the plant extract or the decoction prepared is taken via oral route we have to look at compounds that have oral bioavailability so in this case we'll just rule out gentamicin but that doesn't mean that gentamicin doesn't have antimicrobial properties thank you very much and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on bioinformatics our next lecture i'll be looking at how we can download the protein the protein of choice in order to do our molecular docking thank you very much